Hi everyone, my name is Jake and with me today are Ben and Bridget. We are Faith Communities family ministry team. This past Sunday, Faith Community began a new sermon series focusing on the life of King David found in the book of 1 Samuel. David was born in Bethlehem about a thousand years before Jesus and he became the prototype or example of kingliness. Up to this point in history, the people of Israel didn't have a president or a king to rule them. They were ruled by judges. They really wanted a king, so they went to Samuel and asked for one. So, a man named Saul became their first king. At first, Saul was a good ruler, but over time, power changed him and God rejected him as king. Those of you that know this story know that Samuel was sent by God to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, to select a king from among his sons. Can you imagine having seven of your sons parade before Samuel, and in each case, God didn't select any of them to be king? It wasn't until Jesse brought his youngest son, a little shepherd boy named David, that God confirmed this youngest, this mere boy, should be the one that Samuel anointed as king over Israel. Think for a moment what type of person you would choose as a king. You might choose a guy who's strong and courageous. A strong king would be confident and able to defend his people. You might choose a smart guy who will create a good government and lead well. You might choose a good looking guy. Everyone will listen to a good looking guy. Well, Saul had been all of those things. He was strong and was considered a good military leader. He was smart and he established a capital city. He was even tall and handsome, but Saul fell out of favor with God. So. What was God looking for and what did he see in young David? The Bible says this, The Lord said to Samuel, For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks to the heart. God shows us that kingliness is in the heart. Pastor Tim Prince shared with us in his sermon what the difference was between Saul and David. First, Saul was a pride-filled king. He thought only of himself. David was a humble shepherd boy. He was not full of himself. Second, Saul was spiritually passive. He held God at arm's length. He was religious, but did not know God personally. David, however, never held God at arm's length. David loved God with his whole heart. What about you? God is still looking for kingly people, and the world needs humble, God-loving, right-hearted, kingly people. Scripture gives us two examples, Saul and David. Don't be a Saul, be a David. To be like David, a man after God's own heart, consider these three things. Number one, draw near to God. Pursue God because he has never stopped pursuing you. Number two, find another person who loves and follows Jesus and ask that person if there's any place in your life that he or she sees pride in you. Ask if you are keeping God at arm's length. Lastly, number three, Fix your eyes on Jesus and follow him. David points to another man born in Bethlehem who was humble as well. His name was Jesus. And he humbled himself to die on a cross for you and for me. He was and still is a king who has many followers all over the world today. And we want to encourage you this week to draw your heart near to him. Thanks for watching. Be sure to scroll down and read through the family talking points together. Normally, this is the time where we would say, see you again next week, but we want to let you know that we're taking a little break from our normal Faith at Home content to regroup, to pray, and plan how we can bring better content to you in the future. We'll check back with you in July, so stay tuned. And please stay connected to all of our other content and resources at FCCHudson.com. Also, We'd love to see you at FCC in person as we've started rejoining together on Sundays. And if you're not ready to join us in person, that's totally fine. We'd still invite you to our live streaming services each Sunday. All right, that's all for now. We'll see you all soon.